What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Crazy Cycling Channel. So this is vlog number one of my 2022 European cycle trip. Uh, I posted a little intro video a couple days ago and one of you asked me to do some update vlogs. And uh, this vlog won't be that interesting because I haven't really been able to film very much. I've actually met up with a couple friends, so I was going to do some breakfast um, vlogging, but I just haven't really had the time yet. Um, but I'll tell you what I've been doing and I'll show you the bike and over the next few days and two weeks or so I'll try and do a couple more interesting vlogs and I'm also going to do some filming and normal videos. So basically I landed at Heathrow which is obviously the big airport in London a couple days ago. Cycled into London, built my bike first of all uh, which was an adventure. Cycled into London and then met up with a couple friends, spent a night with a friend, spent a couple nights at a campsite called Lee Valley Campsite, which is in the northwest of London. Highly recommended. It. it was really interesting kind of urban camping. Um, and then did some cycling and some sightseeing. So I cycled mostly along the River Lee, cycled into central London a couple times. Uh, also took the train and went to the Bank of England Museum, which I've always wanted to do where uh, you can try and lift up a gold bar from the Bank of England vaults. I've been really excited about that. I've known about that for years, but that museum is only open during the week. And my understanding was, I always thought if you could lift up the bar, you could take it home, but the bars only weigh 12.4 kilograms and they have it behind this sort of glass, underneath this plastic box and it's chained down and everything, but you reach your hand in and you can lift it up. And I just think it's really interesting because it's a gold bar worth about $650,000, which is crazy. Uh, but did that the other day, um, and yeah, just saw South Bank, places like that. And now I'm actually on my way to catch a train to Harwich, which is on the English coast. I'm spending a night in a hotel, and then tomorrow I'm going to the Netherlands with the ferry. So the ferry goes from Harwich to the Hook of Holland. I've taken the ferry before, and then I've got about a week in the Netherlands. I've got some friends there I might try and meet up with. I want to go to Amsterdam. I'm going to try and do some filming in Amsterdam if I can. And then I'm cycling to Germany. I'm going to cycle along the Rhine River because my flight home is from Frankfurt. And I'm basically cycling along. There's a cycle, a European cycle path there. I've never cycled there and I'm cycling it backwards because normally you should cycle down river, but I'm going to cycle up river. So hopefully it's not too steep. And um, then flying back in about two weeks. So um, I have done a video about building my bike. Getting the bike here was difficult. Uh, I used my ground effect TARDIS bag and the bike did sustain some damage. Uh, the bell got bent, there's some stuff, scuffs, scrapes, and scratches. Um, and then I was building the bike at Heathrow, just outside the entrance of Terminal 5, just on the ground. And it took me a long time, like two hours. I had to put the racks on. Um, the racks I bought for this bike, I bought at the end of March. And they are stuck in customs. They were stuck in German customs for about a month and a half. Then they came to the U.S. They arrived in Chicago, went to Detroit, and they've been stuck in Detroit for about three weeks. I don't know why, and that's post customs. Um, but luckily my brother has a friend who had a bike and he didn't need the racks. So I bought them for $10. So I got these racks for $10 and the rear rack is pretty good. It's an aluminum rack. It's rated up to 40 kilograms, but I hadn't tried it on this bike yet before I took it to Europe. And I needed a uh, spanner or pliers or a wrench, something to adjust the rack, which I didn't have. So I used the pliers on my Swiss Army knife, which was an ordeal. The front racks actually fit pretty well, um, but I don't think they're that good because they just wobble, uh, they kind of wobble like that a little bit. And the whole fork of my bike oscillates like this. And I don't know if that's because of the rack, the weight on there, but I have played with the weight distribution or the geometry of the bike. I'm not really sure, but that's been a bit of an interesting struggle. And um, yeah, that's basically my trip. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you the bike. But uh, by the way, I'm in a place here called Hackney Downs and this just happens to be along my cycle into central London. 
Uh, the sun's going to be bright in the GoPro, but uh, this is quite a big park. Lots of people barbecuing, having fun, etc., etc. It's pretty nice because all around here is just London sprawl. But there's the bike, the Fairlight Ferron 2.0. As I said, it did survive the trip, but uh, quite a few things got scratched and scraped and my bell was bent. Um, so I already bought a new one actually, but that was kind of annoying. But did get the bike together and it's been working pretty well. So as you can see, I've got the four panniers on there. I'm going to do a video at some point about what's in each pannier. And the bike's been handling the weight pretty well. For those of you who have been keeping track of this bike, I've replaced the saddle with the Brooks B17 from my Pinnacle Arcos because the B15 just wasn't comfortable. Here are the aluminum racks I was talking about that I bought from my brother's friend. This rear rack, again, pretty good. The front rack is just not that stable, I think, because it doesn't have a piece that goes over the wheel. And yeah, the bike looks great, handles pretty well, uh, and I'm just totally happy with it. And I will be doing some more videos about the bike, but I guess that's basically vlog number one. I know that I didn't really show you anything interesting, but in case you're following along, at least you kind of know what I'm up to. The London videos will be coming out in the next two weeks or so and I'll just try and post of vlogs of what I'm doing along the way. So this video should be coming out tonight, which is the 28th of May. Uh, it just depends a little bit on where I get internet because I don't have internet everywhere. I can't use my computer everywhere, um, but I'm staying in a hotel tonight. So I'll post this video and then probably update you in a couple days. So hope you enjoyed that video in case you're interested in that sort of stuff. I know pretty different from the rest of my channel, um, but I am gonna do more, uh, just some, videos about specific things about cycle touring and about the bike uh, so you have that to look forward to as well um, so yeah thanks for watching oh by the way i've been a bit more active on instagram as well it's at crazy cycling channel so you can also follow along about what i'm doing there i've just been posting a little bit more um, and i'm trying to get into instagram because i don't really even understand instagram uh, so i'm just trying to get a bit better and posting a little more so you can follow me there if you want as well Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.